All right, and hey there, Proxians, and this is Prox right here, and guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Paper Mario Color Splash. Now, if you guys didn't miss out during our last episode, we actually went and got ourselves uh, not one, but two of the Purple Squad members. Not only that, but we did get ourselves our next Chosen Toad, which that, of course, is going to be the blue one. Now, uh, I was actually wrong about during the last episode, and I think there was, and I think I did say that there was supposed to be a green uh, type of Chosen Toad as well, too, um, but I'm actually wrong about that. There's actually going to be a yellow one instead. And uh, that yellow one is actually be located at uh, one of the yellow sections of this game here within uh, Paper Mario Color Splash. So unfortunately, we can't really go and do that now. But well, but uh, if you guys are probably wondering, uh, Prox, why are you all the way back here at Fort Prisma? Well, I just went off recording just so I could see what the letter was all about because uh, I know that we got ourselves a notification letter uh, talking about something. Now again, it was something else from Luigi, but it's really nothing else of the too much of the detail. Anyways, it was just kind of like just kind of give us ourselves like a basic a basic uh, description tutorial about like how to like remail and whatnot. It's not like really anything like too much out of the ordinary. Um, but anyways, uh, while I'm back here at Fort Prisma, uh, we actually do need to go and pick up ourselves out with the plunger now if you guys remember i was having a tough time i was trying to figure out where this plunger item is now luigi actually did state uh, at the very beginning when he actually did went and talked to us from before saying that there is uh the ringer finally opened up and we can actually get something special uh while we actually do go and talk on over to that toad and that's exactly on why i'm actually back here so that we can be able to go and continue onwards with our story here so without further ado let's go and make our way on over downwards to this spot here and we'll go and uh, check it out and uh, see if we can actually be able to go and pick up ourselves with that plunger. And maybe, just maybe, we can actually go and hopefully rescue out with the, our very first green rescue squad member. So, yeah, if we go and talk it over to this toad here, uh, we can actually go and uh, see uh, how he's doing. So, have you uh, seen you around? Uh, you're not a cop, right? Because you, you have to tell me if you are. It's the law. <laughs> well, let me assure you that I've got pretty much acquired most of my goods, uh, basically, illegally, more or less. Uh, yes, uh, of course, uh, this toad is very shady. Because uh, if you guys do remember, uh, this guy has been around. Uh, I think since uh, during around sticker star as well too and uh, and and you never really got to see this toad all that too much But now you can probably actually be able to get to see the actual true toad That's actually uh, kind of uh, like lurking around the scenes on why he has all these special uh, Items that we already do have all these things what that what well basically what they're known as and now We just have to ring this guy up and now it actually becomes our own specialized car Which now we can go and head back to the indigo uh, well yeah over to the indigo underground and finally go and finally go and check out on that pipe so that we can actually see what we got here now unfortunately uh we don't really have um too much spots here so i think what i'm going to do is actually going to just go and trash out uh, this hammer here and yes let's just go and do that for the time being so that we can just go and just add it to our inventory so well, wow so you sure haven't done this before <laughs> well, well now uh, don't be a stranger i come back whenever you feel like you need to uh, need to squeeze now, I kind of like uh, the one in, in Sticker Star where you can just be able to just kind of just like throw the thing like at the uh, like, like at the board and then it literally just transforms into a, in, into a sticker anyways without like having to even worry about. But uh, but for this one, it, it, it's okay. Whoa, what the heck? I didn't know that there was a toad in here. Hello, Mario. Pleased to meet you. I know that you were Mario uh, because I pride myself knowing things. In addition to knowing things, I can also know things if you catch my drift. Uh, yes, some people call me the know-it-all, and they should know because that's my name. Now, you want to know which thing that might help you right now? Uh, well, I kind of already do know, and we need the plunger, so I'm all right. Uh, so we got ourselves the know-it-all toad. I didn't really know about him either, but I guess if you ever do need like extra little hints and tips or whatnot to figure out exactly where you need to go here in Color Splash, um, that would be probably a, a, a nice guy to kind of get yourself into if you ever do need to go and talk to him. Now, I remember uh, I used to get myself lost in here in Color Splash during the very beginning of this game because I didn't know exactly on where you need to go and speak on over to the next Chosen Toad. And that was actually returning back to Blue Blade Beach uh, to actually go and interact about what was going on within the next scene that was happening there. And uh, But now I do know how... Uh, well, 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 now I do know now on where to actually go from that. But here we go. So back to the Indigo Underground we go. Now, this place is actually, like, somewhat, like, pretty much of a very quiet area, but I think at some point we should be able to finally be able to get to hear some OST uh, within our time actually hitting, uh, well, going down into this pipe here. Now, if you actually line this up properly, like that, we can now be able to go and uh, do a little bit of a cutout here, and unfortunately, you guys can't really go and see any of the cutouts that I do have. I wish that I, I, wish that I would be able to be, uh, be possible, but... Um, I did get to show you guys a little bit here and there on how, like, well, how the cutout system kind of works. But all we have to do now is just kind of go use our plunger here for the time being, and now we get to see how this is going to interact here with this green toad. Alright, hopefully he can finally get on out of there, and stop blocking our way, man. 
Yeah, and there we go. We got the green squatty out. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh. So please tell me that you washed that poison before you use it on me. <laughs> I think it was brand new. Don't worry. I'm so sorry. I thought my training prepared me for this. Anyways, I'm the leader of the green rescue squad. Uh, pleased to meet you. So we received reports of trouble deep in the indigo underground, so we rushed here as quickly as we could. So, But, but uh, we got ambushed as soon as we arrived. My six squad members were all separated. Uh, but it was so bad, we got flooded, greased, folded, crinkled, ripped, toward you name it. Uh, I got stuffed in this pipe like a little green spitball, and I'm the leader. Uh, this might come as a shock, but I need you to rescue my six squaddies. Not a problem. We've already been doing that so far with the purple squaddies, so we're already fine with that. So, But if the mini paid star uh, led us uh, there, uh, well, let us hear, and there must be another paid star within this case. So let's go check it out. Of course, let's go and do that immediately so that we can be able to go and continue with our journey here throughout our time. Oh, great. Really? <laughs> If it's not one thing, it has to be another thing. So now we got ourselves just a random, normal, shy guy. Okay. Well, this shouldn't be too bad. It's just a random, normal, shy guy. <laughs> now, while I say that, I'm going to probably not get myself an excellent. But let's try this out here. All right, here we go. And stomp on you, and you are done, dude. Get on out of here. Nice. Thank you for the perfect bonus. Wow, we actually have a lot of coins right now. Like, ever since that we've... Uh, Spoke on over to Luigi there. Like, I think I wouldn't mind actually going and spending out on a little bit of some more extra stuff within our uh, our time back over at Port Prisma and get ourselves some extra other cards if we do need them. But for right now, we're already full as it is. We don't want to really go out and do that any more than it has to be. All right, it's this little case section. Now, this place is actually really cool, but uh, it seems like I think there is a t I think there is a squatty member. I think that's right here. But let's go and just knock him out. I think we got ourselves a double battle anyways during this time. Yeah, so we got ourselves a double battle here. So, without further ado, let's go and line ourselves up with a hammer. And I think we should be fine with this. Um, yeah, I think we should be good. Or, how about this? We'll do, we'll not do a hammer, but we'll do one worn out boot and, a, and, and just a normal boot here. And I think we should be uh, fine for that then. Alright, so one, two, three, and get you out of here, dude. Nice. Alright, so not too shabby at all, and let's go and do another one here as well, too. And he is finished. Another excellent hit. Now, I'm hopefully hoping that uh, within wh whatever they're doing here, that it could probably uh, be a specialized toad. Oh, yes, it is. Nice. We got ourselves our next green squatty right here. Hey, they crumpled me up without a second thought. Well, if you guys do remember, they actually did say that, that, that they were crinkled, folded, and anything else in between. So we actually got one of them right there. So very nice. Alright, so we rescued one member and scattered the rescue squad, so we got five more to go, yes. So hopefully we can figure out on uh, on what they're going to do for their special uh, special uh, thing that's going to happen here. Now, it seems like the purple squaddies, ooh, nice, got us a spike helmet. Very nice thing to also go and pick up as well. Spike helmets and tanuki tails are very good to find around here, uh, well, well, into any type of Paper Mario game to be exact, because they're always nice to have uh, during any type of battles or anything, because if you want to have uh, some extra protection, those are pretty good items to go and find. Now, I do see that there is a swooper here. Hey, I see you, buddy. Hey, come here. Hey, there you go. Get the swooper out of the way, and then we can go and just continue on our direction. But uh, I don't know if you guys have uh, seen anything uh, special with some of the uh, Nintendo uh, Direct stuff that has been happening. But I already did go and uh, basically talk to you guys about all of that uh, during our time of the Legend RCS Let's Play. So I hope you guys do go and check it on that. Because uh, those are about me and my thoughts uh, with how uh, the Nintendo Direct actually went. And I do have to say, Nintendo went out with a bang. And I do have to say, they actually brought out some really nice good stuff. Uh, I know that people are going to have mixed reactions uh, within this Nintendo Direct as always. Because like every Nintendo fanboy or fangirl are going to probably at least have some sort, of, some sort of weird mixed reaction within this Nintendo Drive. But for me personally, I have to say, I'm really excited about it. Uh, not only uh, do we get ourselves uh, Mario Strikers uh, Battle League, which I think I already want to talk to you guys about that during the time of me actually uh, playing Legends Arceus. But uh, we can actually be able to... Uh, okay, now this does not seem like a good idea. Because if I go down there, I'm going to get myself attacked by all those swoopers. And I think I'm just going to go through the other direction instead. Uh, but also too, uh, also on the SNES and also on the NES, uh, we can actually be able to get ourselves uh, Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings, which I am really excited about that. And uh, I cannot wait until uh, I actually go and uh, get that, uh, get those games uh, on, uh, on, okay, thank you. <laughs> no, I don't really want to go and do that right now. Hold on. Oh, is there something paid up in the back there? Something tells me that there looks like there's some sort of like uh, paint blocks that's in the that, that's on that side there, and I and I could be wrong. Okay, 
Well, I guess I'm wrong then. I thought there was going to be something special behind there, and I guess not. Okay, well, let's just go ahead up through this way. And I think this seems like this looks like a paintwash section. Yes, it is. All right, nice. Got that broken down. Guess we go ahead and head on through the back part. There must be something behind here, or not. Uh, there we go. Got something good about that. Nothing to go and paint up along there. Oh, wait, hold on. This there is. Got this one. Yeah, always make sure that you go and check out on any of the little mini ones as well. Because some of the mini paint washes are kind of hard to tell exactly on where you're going to be. But I'm happy that we got those two out of the way. So hopefully that can kind of help out a little bit with our completion there. Oh, great. It, not only that, but we also got like freaking annoying uh, a millions of bunch of swoopers. Alright, well let's go and flip this guy up. And let's go and head on down here. And we're already literally like 10 minutes into this video and... Uh, Seriously, uh, we're getting attacked by millions of swoopers already. <laughs> but uh, also, too, another good thing is is that uh, I just went and I think I fixed out the situation with our time of actually uh, playing our game here on the Elgato because uh, there's apparently supposed to be a firmware update with my 4K 60s Plus, which I never really went and actually did before. And uh, I know that um, the Elgato support people were kind of helping me out because I didn't really realize this. So hopefully with the firmware update that we don't really have to go and worry about it all that too much uh, with having any type of lag or anything of the sort like that anymore. Um, now this looks like something that I could kind of sneak on into. Is that something that I could kind of go and do right from here? Yes, I can. Yes, there is something sneaky around in here. Very cool indeed. So if you ever are missing out on that, uh, you can be able to go and pick up on... on uh, on that specialized item as quickly as you can but we still need to reach on over to this back part here and i still don't know exactly what what needs to happen oh i see so there's a little inlet if you guys could go and tell and that's how we need to get right on inside into this little part i got gotcha. you that makes sense now okay now we're gonna go into a little bit of a horror type of thing to go and do now which we have to be really careful with because i don't really want to try and get myself screwed up <laughs> But if we can go and line it up with our hammer there, we can now be able to go and uh, check out what this is all about. Okay, now I think we can go ahead up it this way. Oh, cool. I, I just love how like the like the swoopers just kind of like just show up randomly. It kind of looks like a, it kind of looks like the bat cave when it kind of has like all those bats kind of like just like kind of flying around. All right, but there we go. Let's go and head into here. And it looks like we got ourselves our very first actual uh, Buzzy Beetle. Now, this is a pretty interesting, uh, well, enemy to go out and face with. Now, I think you can actually get yourself a Buzzy card as well, too, because they're just like the Koopa cards. Uh, but these guys can hit more harder, if I am not mistaken. So you can actually get a lot more damage off. But since we already do have the Buzzy Beetle already kind of finished like that, you can just go and just literally have a... Uh, a nice good old boot card here and you can just go and flip it up and you can just push this guy all the way to the very far end of the screen just like that and just uh, get him out of here not too shabby and not only that but we could uh, retrieve our uh, other jump card right from the here oh no all right you know what just so that i can get this guy out of the way i'm going to do this quickly as i can <laughs> because i want to make sure that i go and uh set up for a paint wash here oh no this should be simple enough right here Okay, here we go. So, let's go and get ourselves a perfect bonus, shall we? Because this is going to be very simple. So, we do one, two, three, four. There we go. And with four hits, that shy guy is also gone, too. So, not bad. Okay, so let's go and paint up this a little bit. And we'll get ourselves all situated here. Nice. Get ourselves another card back up and ready for action. Uh, nope. Nope. Ah. Oh. I hit myself. No. Ah. Oh no. Ah. Whoa, that did six damage. Yeah, they are not playing around here. Okay. Uh, we need to basically do some jumping here. Like this. And then also set up for another hop slipper. I think I have some extra hop slippers. Or you know what? Let's go for another boot. Go for a hop slipper and a boot. That should hopefully get ourselves a uh, nice good perfect bonus. Oh, come on. Well, that's just annoying. Alright, well, you know what? That, that's finished. Alright, so now he's just kind of just stuck there. Now, technically, you could just go uh, for a nice good hammer, and you can also knock him out as well, too, I think. 
if you are lucky enough, you can just push them away with your hammer. Alright. No, it doesn't actually do anything. Uh-oh. Now he's back. Oh, great. I have to waste out on more of my jumping. Which I didn't want to have to do. This man's going to waste all my paint here. Okay, so let's just go and just launch on him. There we go. And then now, since he's stuck like that, we can just then go for another quick boot. And that should go and hopefully finish him off now. Alright, come on. We can do it now. Yes. Come on, just push him out of the way. Thank you. Jeez. Man, that battle was actually a little bit annoying. But hey, at least we got ourselves a little bit of some extra ones there. Uh, let's go flip this guy around. Nice. Oh, what the heck? There's some green toads up there. Let me go and speak on over to them. And I also do see one of the green squad members as well, too. What the heck? What are you guys all doing here? Uh, toad number two of the green rescue duty squad. Report for duty. Take me, uh, take it from me, Mario. If you ever get attacked by a swoop, uh, just go and turn sideways. Never fails. Okay. Well, how about this? Roll call. Oh, so these are the two of the, uh, of the rescue squads that are here. So I guess these guys are going to be making ourselves up a bridge. But unfortunately, we can't really go and do anything about it now since, uh, we only have, like, only just only two of them right now. Uh, so we can actually go and paint up this side if we wanted to, and I'm gonna whack on this guy as quickly as I can so that I can be able to go and paint this up as very fast as usual. Um, now I don't know if, uh, I wish I could work around with a KO hammer. I think a KO hammer is actually somewhat pretty decent as well, and I think you could probably uh, get these guys out of the way. There we go. You can just smack them and get them out of there. Yeah, KO hammers are actually pretty good too. But, ugh, Buzzy Beetle card. We got ourselves a Soggy Shy guy. Oh no. That's not good. Come on, paint everything back up. There we go. Sweet! And we also got some extra fire flowers. Nice. Alright, so let's go and get that guy finished. And watch out for the Soggy Shy guy. Ah! Fine, you know what? We're gonna go and launch up with the, uh, with the fire. Our flower time. Or, no, that's, that's, let's keep the Buzzy Beetle card because I want to keep that there. Even though that's going to do like a lot more damage. Alright, so there we go. And then get it good again. Oh, or not. We're just very close to it. Oh no. Ah! He's going to do more damage. Uh, let's go and set up for a nice good hammer. And that should hopefully kind of get us ourselves this guy finished too nice all right so there we go that already went and taking care of that so how good are we right now 18 minutes in okay just want to check out the time just to make sure that we are good on my on my uh on my dslr camera because again if you guys don't know uh, i am using a uh, dslr camera now and uh and unfortunately i can't really go and uh, do too much with my time um now hold on what the heck is supposed to happen here why am i I gotta not get all the way up there. There must probably be at least a uh, another secret block somewhere that I can actually uh, get finished. Huh. I guess not. Alright, well let me just go and jump over this. Oh, there's a save point here. Nice. Uh, but also too, there's gonna be uh... Eh. Well, I don't really think I can reach on over to there just yet. But, doing this, we can get ourselves another uh, rescue squaddy member. And we'll make sure that we'll get him finished. Uh, so, um, remove the tape. You can now come down if you want to. <laughs> yeah, I think he's fine. <laughs> so, oh, thanks, mate. Oh, I didn't know that we got ourselves a British toad. Uh, gross, my face is all sticky from that tape. I'm gonna go and wash my face off. Well, not wash my face off, but that would be horrifying. <laughs> okay, so toad three of the number three of, uh, of the green rescue squad reporting for duty. So now that you excuse me, I must go report to my captain's location immediately. So now we got ourselves three, but there's still three more remaining. But we already know where the other one's going to be, so this shouldn't really be all that too hard. No! Oh! I was expecting that that was going to happen. I thought I could just be able to just go and walk along the bridge. Well, let's just go and uh, knock out this guy here. So we can get ourselves a perfect bonus if we want to, and I think that is what I am going to try and aim for. There we go. Now let's try this out again without having to battle any of these other shy guys. But... 
Yay, there we go. Second time always works. Oh, no, no. Uh, what? Well, you know what? We got that Buzzy Beetle card, so we'll go and use this to our advantage. So if you actually keep the Buzzy Beetle card with you, this should hopefully just be finished as quickly as it should be. So let's go and use it now. Let's get ourselves an awesome, perfect bonus right here. All right, and let's go for it. Just completely whale on all those guys, and they are literally finished. Nice. Wow, we're almost about to be having almost about a thousand freaking coins right now. Uh, so Mario behind you. Uh, is that what I was gonna say? But I kind of froze up. My bad. <laughs> but turn number four to the Green Rescue Squad reporting for duty. So now, if you'll excuse me, I'll report to my captain location immediately. All right, so that is also another toad also finished as well. So yes, we are getting close, Huey. So we still got a little bit more left to go. Now, uh, we got ourselves an extra spot up there, but I don't think we can really go and do anything about that now, unfortunately. And also, too, another annoying thing is, is that we can't really get all the way up top to uh, this location yet. So I guess we'll, what we'll have to do is just kind of go and save here for today. And then in the next episode, guys, we will actually go and take care of the other half of this area uh, throughout the Indigo Underground uh, throughout the next episode. And then hopefully we can be able to go and pick up ourselves out the Yellow Paint Star. And maybe we could probably go and open up Crimson Tower if that is what is going to be our case here. If we can find the Chosen Toad uh, once we actually do open up the next Yellow Paint Star location. But I'll see you guys then, and peace.